Ever seen a Gilded Age private train car? Well, you're about to. Quick little video here as we see how the 1% of the 1% of the 1% traveled once upon a time. We're looking at the Gilded Age equivalent of a private jet. It belonged to this guy here, William Flagler, a uh, industrialist, philanthropist, robber baron, you know the type. Well, it belonged to him, and it's housed at his former winter home called Whitehall, seen here. It's a National Historic Landmark, located in Palm Beach, Florida. Yes, that Palm Beach, where a certain ex-president has his resort and residence. So that's all part of a tradition, where this here, this area you're looking at, has long been favored by rich New York snowbirds. I can't imagine what Flagler's net worth would be in terms of today's dollars, considering, like, this here is just one room in that house. And it's one of the party rooms, so you can imagine a ridiculously lavish Gilded Age parties being thrown in here. But back to the train car. I've never seen anything like this in person, so I wanted to check it out. And it's really gorgeous to look at, as you'll see as we get into it here. Uh, one thing that's funny is, uh, you know, progress doesn't stop, and this would feel cramped and probably pretty uncomfortable for a group of travelers today. I say group it because it had a private room and then another one with bunk beds, all crammed into this standard size train car. Well, of course, in those days you had to have a writing desk, so there it is. And now let's really check it out. There's some of those bunk beds that I was talking about. That's the one space that has those. And passing by the shower and bathroom, two separate spaces, both really small. We'll get back to them. But moving on, here's the private bedroom, which has its own bathroom on the left. But yeah, it's really nice, as you can see, but pretty tiny. I think this is smaller than the room I grew up in. There's that private bath. And this was the height of luxury at the time. Here's the living room slash office one more time. And let's get back to the restroom, the one that everybody besides uh, Mr. Flagler had to use on the train. Not a lot of space, as you can see. Uh, probably a little bit bigger than a modern airplane bathroom, but that's about it. The shower, not only was it small, but I like how kind of rustic it looks. Like, this was, again, you know, as much money as somebody could possibly spend on a traveling shower back around the turn of the 20th century, and just not that impressive <laughs> to us anyway. Exposed pipes, uneven walls, and here's the only room I haven't shown or mentioned yet, the kitchen. It's small as well. One fun little feature is down by your feet if you're working at the stove. We noticed a tiny little hatch, and I think one of my kids opened it, I can't remember who, but opened it up and it was just like this tiny little hole that just goes through to the bottom of the car, and our guess was that was for throwing away trash. Why bother to bag your trash or anything when you can just drop it down on the train tracks below you? Here's the master bedroom again, and it really is like the cheapest hotel room you could possibly find in Europe, where you're just having to work your way around the bed to get to the bathroom. I've been there. One of the bigger antiques I've shown on the channel. I obviously love antiques, and I love imagining what it was like when they were being used and the people that were using them. So it's kind of a more immersive version of that. And here you go, from the outside. Ultra, ultra rich traveling accommodations from the Gilded Age. Flagler Museum, Palm Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching.